Good morning, Council, Madam Chair. Thank you for hearing my testimony today. My name is Megan Powers. I'm a Seabury graduate. Go Spartans! <laughs> I'm here to speak about agenda item 14-166. Uh, <clears throat> I support moving this into committee. This is a very serious issue, not only on Maui, but worldwide. There is false information out there supplied by companies with a vested interest, and there is accurate information available. Please vet your sources if this goes to committee and you do your research. May I suggest reading the Agricultural Health Study. It's a long-term, in-depth study of farmers, farm families, and farm communities uh, that's been started in, uh, I think, 1993. And uh, they've been accumulating loads and loads of information. It's sponsored by the National Cancer Institute, the National Institute of Environmental Health Studies, the EPA, and the National Institute of Occupational and Safety Health. Uh, those are the organizations that uh, put together this study. The study continues to this day. It's going to continue for a long time. They're gathering more and more information about the the uh, deleterious effects of pesticides and uh, increased cancer rates, especially endocrine cancers, that's breast cancer, prostate cancer, has to do with the endocrine disruptors that are in the pesticides. So that's why I'm here. I'm very concerned about the long-term irreversible damages of pesticide pollution and genetic pollution in our environment. I'm concerned for our farmers, our farmland, the nearby communities, and it is your mandated responsibility when you took that oath to protect these public trust resources. My son, he's 20, he wanted to be here today, but uh, went to work. And he shared something from his kumu the other day that really resonated. And that is that um, Hawaiians knew that the soil is the body of our children and our grandchildren. Now some say that, yeah, it's the body of our ancestors, and you can see him in those in those corporate boardrooms going, body of our ancestors, they don't care anyway. But you know what? It's also the body of our children and our gr grandchildren. Take a moment, close your eyes and take a deep breath, everybody all together in this room. Feel that every molecule and every cell in your body is an accumulation of the nutrients that you have ingested in your lifetime. Where did it come from? It came from the soil, and the water and the sun, and it went into the plants and the animals that you ate. And now it's taken up residency in your body. It will return to the earth. That's why the soil is the body of our children. I'm really concerned about, may I have one more minute? Yes. About the farming practices of agribusiness. Monsanto is one of them. That the farming practices has to do with producing and spraying more pesticides. They are, they're like a weapons company starting wars to sell weapons. They are a chemical, chemical company posing as an ag company designing plants to tolerate pesticides so that they can sell more pesticides. A real farmer knows that you get a healthy plant to get healthy food for healthy people from healthy soil. You don't get healthy soil by killing all the microorganisms because you've been hosing it down and breaking and destroying the web of life that we all depend on. And that's what's happening with their pesticides and their herbicides and these, uh, all these incredible combinations, not to mention the, uh, the pollinators that we so uh, dearly depend on. Four minutes. Okay, I agree with everything Irene Bowie said. Mark Sheehan's <clears throat> uh, autism rates, there's one in 68 now, it's not 68,000. Okay, thank you.